trying to sneak in one last mailbag in 2021. Got five packages here. Here we go. First one off, we have this big one here. This one ordered December 16th, arrived December 18, $32.76. And the reason for that is because this is from Amazon. So, oh, I guess I should have just done that. So Amazon is uh, great because I do get a little bit of affiliate money from you guys buying stuff off my links. Uh, unfortunately, the um, affiliate money usually comes the day after I needed something, so <laughs> that's what happened here. This is, oh, nice, there's a plug on it. Some hardware. So this is a, a inline fan, inline fan duct thing. It's a fan uh, that fits on a four inch duct and it'll blow air, you know, from one end to the other. Should be a direction. There we go. This way. Um, now, not sure if this is going to be any good at all. It's going to be super loud if it's going to move a lot of air. I can tell you the edges are sharp. Uh, now, why do I need this? Well, I need this because I am setting up my workshop for a little bit dirtier work. So that's dusty and smoky work. This is, okay, first of all, this cable is absolutely short. Hmm. And it's, it's all the way, you know, goes all the way in here. So I don't know if that'll be convenient at all. Also, the cable looks extremely thin. It says 20 gauge. Well, whatever. Let's figure it out. Let's plug it in. Contact. Okay, it's quiet. That's good. I'm afraid to touch the the metal housing. Uh, it is grounded. But like, is that metal? I'm not sure. Give me a second. Yeah, that's metal. So there is the ground wire there, so it should be okay. There we go. Yeah, it blows an okay amount of air, and it's relatively quiet, which is what I need. So, yeah, basically a company sent me a uh, laser cutter. Uh, a laser engraver, I should say, not a cutter. And uh, this will go sort of in an infrastructure project video where I'm going to set this up and then I'm going to have like a dryer hose ducting just to pick up just the smoke off the laser cutter so I don't, or laser engraver, so I don't, um, you know, set off the fire alarm. This will also be nice when I do some woodworking projects uh, because I'll be able to t take the dust and shoot it outside. So... Yeah, nothing too special, but I needed something kind of right away because as you saw, you know, it arrived December 18th. I'm trying to make some Christmas gifts with the laser engraver maybe. And uh, yeah, got to get this set up. So if you're interested in seeing me uh, set this stuff up, you have to be a Patreon subscriber or else you're just going to have to wait a month after the video is up for that. So the infrastructure projects, that's something I've decided to give to the Patreons been a little while since so they're finally getting a new infrastructure project and if you want to see them early subscribe to patreon if you don't care and you can wait the month then don't next up we've got this one here um this one uh five dollars 98 cents november 29th to december 16th i don't think what's in here is super interesting if i remember correctly but it's going to be useful for me it is okay so this is a ton of these uh, colored pin headers so they're just regular pin headers but they have the plastic on them be a different color uh, so each of these ziplocs seem to have let's see four five six seven eight nine ten so ten uh, which is two of each color we've got green blue red and white and I've got five of these bags so there's the colors there as you can see so these are useful uh, when you have a breakout board when you make a breakout board and the different rows are for different things now the specific thing that I want these for um, at least the red ones 
and the either yellow or white is for uh, servo connections. So basically you make a row of pin headers, uh, red, yellow, and black, or you know some combination. And the red would be your five volts and the yellow is your signal and the black the ground. So you know which way intuitively to plug your servo connection in uh, without having to you know label it. Because you know if you need 10 servos, uh, this labeling can get pretty big. But let me just show you an example of what I'm talking about. I think these two boards here clearly illustrate my point. Uh, so this is a servo expansion board. So you get, uh, I think it's 16 servos on here. Um, so all the servos will have a common power, which is that red pin header line, a common ground, which is all that black one, and then each of their individual signals, which is the uh, yellow. So it's obvious at a glance which way to plug your servo in. Same thing here with this uh, CNC shield that goes on Arduino Uno. And as you can see, the positive side of the signal is in white and the negative is in black. So there's really no doubting which one is which. Even on top of that, the um, X, Y, Z axis, they have these yellow female pin headers. And the A axis, the, the additional one, it has these red pin headers. So it's just more obvious which way to plug things without having to, you know, read text. Anytime you can simplify a process like that, I say go for it. So that's why I got these pieces here. Next one up is this one here. Um, $2.91, November 29th ordered, December 16th arrived. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I do know what's in here now. Now that I just felt the package. These are tiny, I'm gonna have to zoom you in. So these are 2N2907 PNP transistors, but they are in SOT23. So the tiny little package. It's always good to have these in stock, to have the uh, different footprints in stock. Let's see if I can even open this. There we go. So that little guy there, maybe you can't even see it, but that guy there is the exact same thing as the TO92, like the classic transistor that we're all used to. Does the exact same job, but it is tiny, you know, like a bit, bit bigger than a pepper flake, but not by much. And so I got these because I made these boards, if you remember that PCB Way video, um, and I would like to populate one with all SMD components so it would fit right on these pads here. Uh, it's a PNP so it actually goes up here. So that would go right there and then you'd solder it on. Um, and I am also a little bit, uh, you know, got in my mind that I want to remake this board but only for surface mount parts. So I'm going to play with this board around and, you know, a little bit and make the make the the, the uh, software for it and once I've got good software I'm gonna shrink this board down I want it like the size of you know my fingernail I'm gonna try to v-score a whole bunch of them but uh, that'll be another day but for now this guy is gonna join my collection of SMD uh, transistors there's its brother the NPN version 3904 it's gonna reside right there on to the next one for the penultimate item this one here, uh, this is six dollars, like exactly six point zero zero Canadian dollars, November twenty ninth, December sixteenth. Oh, there's a note too, I think. There's a QR code. So, what these things are, uh, are these are for three D printer heated beds. Um, they clip like a piece of glass or whatever. Ooh, they're nice and stiff. They clip a piece of glass uh, to your heated bed so you don't have to use the binder clips which um, your head could easily smash into. Um, let me go get a prop and see. So let's just say that this uh, shiny surface here, this is actually a heated bed like so. Um, let's just say that this is your surface and this matte piece here uh, let's say that's your glass. 
Now if you put binder clips, they kind of like stick up and over, but these guys, I don't want to really scratch the, the bottom side here, but, oops, I got two in this. What these guys are designed to do is you just put them on like this, you just give them a little, or let's see if I can get that at the correct angle for you, give them a little squeeze, and it just hooks on like that. So only the very top, the very little flat piece here is sticking on, and that will hold your uh, glass top in place. You, you know, you put you would put four, one in each corner, or uh, more if you want, and all you're really losing is this tiny little piece, which is perfectly fine. The binder clips that stick up and over, uh, your head could easily smash into those, and uh, well, mine has. That's why I found these, and I bought some. So I'm gonna install them at some point. I'll let you know how they go, but very inexpensive. I think I got ten here for um, six dollars. So basically, you know. If you had a relatively small bed, you could have two, and then two beds fully held down, and then two spares. So yeah, I think it's worthwhile. And last but not least, there is this one. This one has been sent in for review by Banggood.com. I requested this uh, on my ongoing attempt to make my videos better. This is a tiny oscilloscope. Uh, in fact, I'm not sure how tiny it really is, but should be pretty small. Hopefully, I could just have it here on the bench and explain concepts without doing any screen capture on my computer. This is by um, Miniware, DS213. Oh, big, thick manual, probably because there's English and Chinese. Yeah, two languages in there. This looks like... Oh, a warranty card. Will we need that? I don't think we'll need it. Wow, this thing is tiny. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a little bit smaller than I expected. Holy. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it's got some gravity. So this is it. Um, now this, this thing actually has some surprising implications. I'm just trying not to reflect myself onto the screen there. Ooh. It's cold, it is metal. Ooh, that feels solid. So I know a lot of automotive guys pick these things up. Um, so I have high hopes for it. It is a four channel. Well, it's at two and a half channels. So two channels, then apparently you can have two more logic channels. Oh, there we go, C and D right there. Got the on off switch. Please let this not be a uh, low, brightness, um, you know, OLED type thing. Uh, brightness is pretty low. Okay, well, I'll have to adjust stuff so that you can see too. I guess before that I should probably show you the accessories. Uh, so first of all, like every Minwave product, everything is very neatly packed. Like, their pack job is fantastic. These are the little uh, oscilloscope probes quite flexible which I really like but they do have these you know tiny connectors what do you want man this thing is like look at the size of these uh, plugs there so that looks pretty neat pop this one out too and then we have ugh, these are the uh, hook tips Okay, so that should go right on there, and there we go, got a little, I don't know if you can see there, a little hooky. So very standard aside from the plug. Um, and then we got the little grounds. Okay, so that's pretty nice. The only thing is, uh, this is a 2 plus 2, so two sort of analog channels and two digital channels. Uh, but there's no digital probes in here, only the analog probes. Yep, so you only get two probes, which is kind of a shame because, I mean, there's four holes. Channel A, B, C, and D. Hmm, not sure how I feel about that. 
this thing also has a, um, I believe it has a function generator built in. It does have an output there, but how are you supposed to plug your oscilloscope in? Also, hmm, let me play this with this just a little bit and I'll get back to you. So good news, um, I've only been playing with this for a couple minutes, like two, three minutes, and the controls are becoming more obvious. You use this B uh, to move around the menu, and you'll see different parts of it will be flashing, and that's what you can adjust with A. So you move the A around to change the option. I moved the, um, the noise down, and I moved the, the backlight all the way up, and this is actually quite reasonable for brightness. It's uh, surprisingly bright. I didn't think it was going to go this bright. Um, the other thing is the um, function gen is kind of, you know, always on. So you can move to it with B. So there's the type. Okay, and then move to it again one shot lower to, to the frequency. Uh, so if I move back to the type, you guys can see pretty well but I'm off axis, so I'm having trouble seeing, so all I see is my, my lights. But let's see if I can stab this into here. Are we getting a signal? I'm not sure if we are. I have, you have to stab it just in the right spot. Oh, there we go. So, just trying to see here. Now I need to change the time. Oops, the other way. I go in the wrong way. There we go. So there. Um, so that is the oscilloscope picking up its own signal. We can change this to a sine wave. Now my trigger voltage is too low. Let's see if I can roll over there. Uh, does that say volt trigger? Oh, down, down, down. There we go. So yeah, I, I can't see very well because all I see is my studio lights in the reflection here. But as you can see, it's quite serviceable. Triangle wave, oh, big difference there. Sawtooth, back to square wave. So it is working and, you know, it's not too bad. Um, you know, the, your time base here, you just roll it with the, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not terrible. It's not obviously ideal, but Man, this thing is tiny. Like, look, look at the size of my hand in comparison. Uh, it's actually very nice. And all aluminum. Like, it's not plastic. It does not feel cheap. So, I'm actually going to have some fun putting this through its paces. I do have a function gen. Um, and I'll try to incorporate some uh, real uh, circuits. And we'll, we're going to see how good this thing is at, uh, you know, doing its job. But... Yeah, very nice. Plus, let's not forget it is not connected to the mains. This is battery. Uh, it's rechargeable through micro USB. Uh, what do we have? 40 volts max on the input. 5 volts on the logic input. So, not too bad of a spec. I'm going to put this thing through its paces and, um, yeah, look for a review video coming soon. Or at least a first look coming soon. And so that's it. Uh, these four items plus the one that's already installed in a Patreon exclusive video. So um, yeah, if you want to see that uh, blower fan installed, you either have to be a member of uh, Patreon or you can wait uh, an extra month and then it'll be out for everybody. Um, but yeah, this uh, shows what is to come on the channel. Um, this one here, actually, this is for a secret project. So that's that. But uh, these things here, you'll, you're going to see them again pretty soon. I want to thank my Patreons for their support. They are the reason why I can buy myself this cool stuff. I want to thank Banggood uh, for sending me this. But this is kind of you guys' fault too. Because if you guys weren't watching these videos, Banggood wouldn't send me anything. So I really appreciate everybody's support. I will see you guys in the new year. Thanks for watching.